This short video deals with the game of restrained recalls. Training a dog the recall is one of the most important exercises our dogs need to learn. On one hand, it's an exercise that can save a dog's life. On the other hand, it's an exercise that can mean the difference between winning and losing a dog competition. In the various dog sports, the recall is combined with the down stay. Quite often during training, a dog prematurely breaks the stay command and the handler is forced to correct the dog. When that happens, drive is taken out of the dog and recalls slow down. The solution to this problem is to separate these two exercises in training and then teach them separately as drive exercises. This video will deal with the training of the restrained recall. The restrained recall is a reward-based system where a dog learns that coming to us, his owner, is fun. It teaches our dog that the handler is the provider of the greatest games, the best food, and the most fun. In the first step of training, a helper holds our dog, either by the collar, the harness, or, or the dog's leash, while we run away and call the dog's name in an excited tone of voice. When the dog shows the desired behavior, the helper simply releases the dog and allows him to run after us. When the dog comes to us, we have a party. The dog gets a high value reward. Now the reward varies depending upon the temperament of the dog, the drive of the dog, or the distractions that the dog's currently facing. We'll talk more about rewards in a few minutes. The beauty of the restrained recall is that it can be simple or as complicated as you wish to make it. In its simplest form, it's just a game. In more advanced training, it can be used to build the speed of a dog running to the handler. It can be used for things like teaching a dog to come with a whistle or it can be used to teach a dog to come under various distractions. What we're going to do here is show you one of the Leerberg relationship games which is nothing new to dog training but it is one of the games that we chose to include because it's such a such a great game to build a bond between the dog and the handler it's fun it's exercise for the dog the basic concept is we're going to have someone hold our baby here back while Stephanie runs down to the bottom of the hill, hopefully, and doesn't fall in the wet grass. We have promised to cut that out, it should she, which was, an, which was a lie, I'm not cutting it out. And Cindy will hold the dog, and when Stephanie gets to the bottom of the hill, Cindy will release the dog, the dog's going to run down to Stephanie and Stephanie's going to act like she's crazy to see the dog and it's a big happy moment and it's a big party. This is a great way to turn recalls into a fun game and not have recalls for people that have never trained a dog before be a bad thing because you only call your dog when the dog's doing something bad and it's not a happy thing. We're going to turn recalls into a fun thing. So with this said, one of the first things we'll do is take the prong collar off because many times just putting a prong collar on a dog makes it go down and drive. And that's not what we want to do for this exercise. So Stephanie, if you'll take the prong off the dog and we'll clip her on a flat collar and I'll hold the prong. And then Cindy will come in and hold her and I'm going to step out. The first thing we're going to do is show the dog that we have toys for her to play with. So what, what I want you to do, Steph, is get her tugging and then tug her over to me and I'm going to grab her collar while she's still tugging. Play tug with her for a second, okay, and then tell her, ah. and then you go, and I'll let her out, keep out, out. Now, I'm going to let her go, and then 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 I
Call her name. Phoenix, come on, come on. Now the role of the second handler is just to hold on to or restrain the dog and then release it at the right moment. They don't do anything else. They don't say anything. They don't do anything. If the helper is not an experienced dog trainer, then the owner is going to have to give a hand signal or some type of signal of when to release the dog. Restrained recalls can be done in many locations, but a word of caution when you start doing them outside. It's wise to start in an enclosed fenced area like you see here. Don't assume your dog is automatically going to follow you once released. If he doesn't follow, turn and run away from the dog. This often triggers the dog's urge to chase you. Get away. Hey. There you go. Get a plan. There you Good. go. Good. If there's any question in your mind about the dog following, have the dog drag a long line. The 20-foot cotton long lines that we sell are excellent for this work. Dogs that try and play keep away always know where they are, but they seldom know where the end of a 20-foot line is. This is the end of my first short video in a series of short videos on how to train the restrained recall. Next week's video will go into detail on the timing of when to release the dog. This can be a complicated and detailed issue. I will also explain how to determine what rewards to use in your work. Just because you think your dog should appreciate the reward that you're offering is not always the best choice for a reward. Your dog may work better for a different value reward. My future short videos will also deal with how to add distractions into your restrained recall training and how to incorporate restrained recalls into more complex training.